good day everyone and um, welcome to our channel where we teach structural engineering we make it very very easy for everyone to understand it my name is konyedi olodu and i'm your host in this channel I want to say a very big thank you to everyone who has subscribed to our channel and all those who are commenting and giving us very encouraging words. We really appreciate all that. We really appreciate all that. And if you've still not subscribed to our channel, please, I would like you to click on the subscribe button click on notify and like our page so that when next we put up any video you will get notified you'll get notified and if you've been getting value from every of our videos or any of our videos i would like you to subscribe it will really really encourage us to do more furthermore uh, we've been answering a lot of questions and uh, we'll say for you to ask a question I would like you to subscribe if you've subscribed you can just say ah if you want to ask a question you can say you've subscribed I would like you to type in ah I've subscribed to your channel and this is the question I want to ask thank you very much I really appreciate every one of you May God bless you. We'll dive straight right into what we'll be doing today. We got a question from one of our subscriber, Gideon Sakala. Gideon Sakala asked a very important question, which we will be handling today. The main question is... It said i have a problem when uploading my dsf file what could cause it to not show in my protest structure after i upload it my page is blank even if i upload the dsf file so sakala wants to know how to import from autocad to protest structure that is basically the question he is asking how he can import from AutoCAD to Prota Structure and that is what we will be doing today. We will be answering that and we'll show you how to go about it step by step. There are very important things that I would like us to pay very close attention to and if you stay to the end you will understand it very very well there are basically some little things that people will meet that we create this problem that this our subscriber Gideon is experiencing so we'll dive straight right in we've already opened our AutoCAD so you click on your AutoCAD your AutoCAD now um this is basically i've i've i made it very simple but whatever it is you would have created your beam and your slab layout if you've done that or if you've not done it or you want to do it on protest structure but i will recommend that you finish your your beam and your slab layout on autocad on autocad so we are doing a very simple beam and slab layer this is our beam this is our beam and this will be our slab this is basically very simple form of of um, our slab and beam layout so let's we want to import this drawing to proto structure and in protest structure, I want us to pay attention to this. It is very important, very, very important. There are, if you want to import, there are two things that you must pay attention to. I can't overemphasize this enough. 
one the first thing you need to pay attention to is your grid lines very very important your grid lines is the number one thing you need to pay attention to so what you need to do is get your grid lines in a layout of its own if this grid line is different from this you won't really get get it done properly so i will say this if you click on this you see the layout here saying as is so the as is line is on as is layer so you make sure that every other as is that you want is still in the same layout pay attention this if you miss this you will miss it all the number one thing is get your layer or your layer to be on one or your axis line or your axis line must be in one layer it can be axis or beam or whatever it must be on one layer if you've done that you've done 50 percent of it then the next thing you need to do is to create your column your column positions this if you miss out this you still experience what our our um, subscriber is experiencing we want columns to be on all these positions so the first thing you need to do is to draw a pulley line create your column with a pulley line and the 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 column is 230 by 230 so let's create it 230 hmm? we are doing 230 230 by 230 so if this is a polyline you create this so that when you click it everything is together but if you create it using line you create this using line if you create this using line you won't get if you click here it will just be one so if you miss this please pay attention to this this is very important if you click this these are in single single units no do polyline so that when you click once everything goes together so let's delete this out okay so with this now we move this we take this to uh, there's something i want us to to pay attention to okay this is our column uh, let's 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 change the color let's make it blue if you click on your column you must put your column on its own layer separate from the axis line pay attention to this your axis line will be on a different layer or the axis line will be on a different layer your columns will be on a different layer so let's see now we place it in its own layer column layer column layer so we move it and we'll put it where it should be let's put it here so we've got in this position we can just copy and paste in every other position every other position very important please if you miss out this you miss out everything if you miss out this you miss out everything so yeah we are yeah we are if you miss out this you miss so we've created this very important very important so yeah we've done this we save our work we say save we save our work so now on this now if you click on this right click and you say select or to, to show that they are all in colon escape click on your axis right click select all that they are all in axis layer if you've done this 
go to save us save us we have our course work pay attention this is a file of type you change it to dsf dsf file now is on dsf we save on our desktop dsf and we say save we've saved it now hmm? we've saved it what you need to do is to close this page we are done with this we'll close and we say no we, are, we don't want to so we we'll open this proto structure proto structure click on file go to model stroke file import come to external reference drawing click on it and this will pop this dialog box will pop click on load once you click on load it will take you to where let's assume where you save this thing it will just open there you search for it if it's not on your desktop you you try to locate where it is click on it and you say open it will give you the unit we are going using millimeter you say okay you've done this what well, if you look now this is what we call a ghost layout it's like a ghost you can't really do anything with it it's just showing you what you've you've imported you can work with this so click on import members you click on import members import as is click on it import column you click on it if you look carefully this is the layer that that we've already saved our houses in both direction and the column where we've saved our column um the column layer so you you click on them pay attention if you miss this you've missed all you say okay then this dialog box pop you said starts and there's no error you close once you once you do that you can close this and voila this is your axis line this are your axis line this are your are your column position with this you've imported your your program here then what you need to do is just to click on beam if you say beam we are doing 230 by 450 you just do that and you just click uh, right click click right click right click come here right click right click so you are done with the beam close come to slab our slab thickness they said 120 but we are using 150 come to load this is the weight we we oh, come here room right click we we'll say general then we click on them and voila this is how you you've um you've modeled your floor layout you've modeled your floor layout and we this is all about how to import from AutoCAD to Prota structure simple easy and very fast so this is how you can solve that problem Gideon um, this is how you solve the problem um, if you want to see how to analyze and detail, please check our videos. We've already done all of this. Check our videos and um, you get more value. You get more value, but this is how you, you import. So we will stop here for today. This is how you import from AutoCAD to Prota Structure. So, and this, I hope this was simple enough. I hope this really explained your question. And if you still have any question and you have not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe and we will be glad to answer all your questions, all your questions. 
so feel free if you still not if there's still anything you you don't understand or you want us to explain subscribe and comment it on our quest send your question through the comment section and we will definitely get to you we will do a video explaining it in detail thank you very much i appreciate everyone for subscribing to our channel remain blessed thanks